His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace today in presence of the of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Commander of U.S. Central Command General Lloyd Austin, who is currently on a visit to Bahrain. His Majesty the King expressed a pride in the deep-rooted historic relations between Bahrain and the United States and the joint coordination, highlighting the development in joint cooperation, especially in the fields of defense and military coordination as partners and allies. He stressed Bahrain's keenness to support bilateral relations and expand fields of cooperation to serve the best interest of both countries and people. He also stressed Bahrain's support to all efforts to reinforce regional security and stability, pointing out the U.S.'s role in preserving regional security and stability and protection of international security and peace. His Majesty the King also highlighted the efforts of General Austin in consolidating fields of joint cooperation between the two countries. For his part, Commander of U.S. Central Command thanked His Majesty for his keenness to reinforce bilateral relations and his support to expand fields of joint cooperation. The meeting also discussed regional and international updates. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace in presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Qatar's Foreign Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdul Rahman bin Jassim Al Thani, who is currently on a visit to the Kingdom. His Majesty the King asked the Qatari Minister to convey his greetings to the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and his wishes to the people of Qatar for the progress and prosperity. His Majesty congratulated the official on his new post as Qatar's foreign minister, wishing him continued success in serving Qatar and its people. He commended the deep-rooted bilateral relations and joint cooperation in all fields in the service of both countries and their people. He highlighted the importance of coordination and consultation between the two countries to reinforce relations of brotherhood and cooperation in line with the Gulf Cooperation Council march. The minister of Qatar conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings of the Emir of Qatar and his best wishes for the people of Bahrain of further progress and prosperity. The meeting also reviewed ways of supporting brotherly cooperation in addition to discussing regional and international updates. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today Qatar's Foreign Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdul Rahman bin Jassim Al Thani, who is currently on a visit to the Kingdom. His Royal Highness affirmed the friendly relations between Bahrain and Qatar and asserted mutual keenness to build on bilateral ties. He said that countries of Gulf Cooperation Council must be more coherent amid the rapid developments and challenges facing the region. The Prime Minister reviewed with the Qatari Minister ways of reinforcing brotherly relations and expanding fields of cooperation in support of bilateral relations and GCC March. The meeting also discussed regional and international developments in addition to issues of common concern. Qatar's foreign minister for his part conveyed it to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister the greetings of the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, his brother, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Thani, and Qatar's Prime Minister Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser bin Khalifa Al Thani.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa attended a celebration at the Ritz Carlton Hotel regarding laying the foundation stone of the new building of Al Ahliya University. His Royal Highness affirmed the government's keenness to exert its efforts to achieve further development in the march of education by committing to international standards for the quality of education. He pointed that the government is very keen on nurturing universities and institutions of higher education to improve and benefit the human capital. He lauded the quality of the university of Bahrain and their contributions to the social and economic progress of Bahrain. His Royal Highness extended his congratulations on the new building, wishing the university success to graduate national competencies and efficiencies that contribute to the progress of the kingdom. He highlighted the importance of providing people with an exceptional level of education, skills and capabilities in order to contribute to the economic progress of the country. He also affirmed the government's vision to focus on education in order to assume advanced levels in human development. His Royal Highness lauded the quality level of the institutions of higher education. He also praised Bahrain's ability to attract international universities, which reflect the kingdom's reputation in the educational field. President of the Al Ahliya University, Dr. Abdullah Al Hawaj, expressed appreciation to His Royal Highness for attending the celebration, and he also congratulated him on winning the Flame of Peace Award by the Vienna based Peace Promotion Association. Al Ahliya President presented His Royal Highness with loyalty documents praising the government's achievements and Bahrain's position between various countries.
Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in presence of the First Deputy of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Khalid bin Hamad Organization for Mixed Martial Arts, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met today with the wrestler Adam Batirov, who inched the 70 kg weight category gold medal for Bahrain at the Asian Wrestling Championships, which which concluded in Bangkok recently. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed pride in the historic achievement which marked Bahrain as the first Gulf country that wins the gold medal in the Asian wrestling and the first Arab country to win in 15 years. He congratulated the winning wrestler and commended the role of the Bahrain Association for Self-Defense, stressing the care and support of the leadership to the youth and sports fields. His Highness Sheikh Khalid affirmed the result reflects the leadership's backing and the excellent effort of His Highness Sheikh Nasser through the development strategy of sports. He congratulated the wrestler and commended his excellent performance, wishing him continued success in the coming tournaments. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met today with the Russian Ambassador to Bahrain, Vagif Garayev. The meeting reviewed the relations of the friendship between the two countries and ways of expanding fields of joint cooperation. His Highness Sheikh Nasser highlighted the recent visit of His Majesty the King to Russia and the talks held with the Russian President, which resulted in consolidating joint cooperation in various aspects. For his part, the Russian ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to Bahrain, its leadership and people, commending the deep-rooted ties linking the two countries and fields of cooperation, which have been reinforced by the recent meetings of the two countries' leaders. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad also met with the Egyptian ambassador to Bahrain, Suhail Far. His Highness affirmed the deep-rooted relations between the two countries, stressing constant keenness to further developing them in all fields and especially in the youth and sports field. For her part, the ambassador expressed thanks to His Highness Sheikh Nasser and affirmed interest to reinforce bilateral relations. Council of Representative Speaker Ahmed Al Mullah participated in the first conference of Arab Parliament speakers in Cairo under the theme A Parliamentary Vision to Counter Current Challenges Faced by Arab Nations, organized by the Arab Parliament in collaboration with the Arab League and Arab Interparliamentary Union. Al Mullah condemned the terrorist acts faced by the region that aims to forward the region's gains and achievements. He urged the need to combat terrorism and rejected any kind of interference that causes unrest and conflict and affirmed Bahrain's stance alongside the Saudi-led Arab coalition in protecting the legitimacy of Yemen. El Mullah stressed the need for more cooperation in facing all challenges and the need to come up with ways of enhancing Arab solidarity and maintaining national security against terrorism as well as strategic framework for Arab sustainable development. He then conveyed a message by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa wishing everyone further success and prosperity. Representative Speaker affirmed their continuous support for the Palestinian issue and their right to live in a safe and security country. Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa met today with the Qatari counterpart Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdul Rahman bin Jassim Al Thani, who is on a visit to the kingdom. Sheikh Khalid noted the tremendous care accorded to bilateral relations by the two leaderships, with the aim of propelling them to broader horizons for the benefit of the two countries and people. For his part, Qatar's minister hailed the distinguished Bahrain Qatari relations, affirming common keenness to further develop them on all fields and wished of Bahrain further development and progress. The meeting also discussed coordination of views and a number of topics related to ways of reinforcing the GCC joint action in addition to regional stability as well as ways to confront the challenges facing the Gulf states and their people. 
In line with the Parliamentarian Skills Program, the Bahrain Institute for Political Development organized a workshop of the members of the Shura Council titled The Relation of Public Bodies of the State. The workshop was delivered by the Chairman of Legislation and Legal Opinion Authority Advisor, Abdullah al Buhainin, to explain the relation and monitoring among the state's three authorities, in addition to the relation between the Constitutional Court and the Legislative Branch. The workshop aimed to develop the skills of Shura Council members in the political decision-making process and reinforce their communication skills with citizens and governmental and non-governmental institutions to addition, in addition to elevating their skills in the area of interpreting and forming legal texts. The workshop comes in line with the Institute's government commitment to activate the agreement signed with the Shura Council so as to reinforce legal and political culture of the Shura Council members and empower them to perform their duties to the fullest. A very good evening. You're watching the business and news on Bahrain Television. CBB government Rashid Al Maraj said that Bahrain will meet with U.S. Treasury officials in April regarding international banks becoming reluctant to deal with Bahrain and the Gulf because of tight regulations. The regulations are forcing many to reduce the number of foreign institutions and making international banks operating in the U.S. more wary of ties with the Gulf. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,189.15 points, a rise of 12.98 above last closing. The rise was in the commercial bank sector and was also the most traded with 95% of total shares. 49 transactions included 2,713,433 shares worth 613,288 BD.